it's starting. Okay. Hi everybody. Hi. This is my Logan. And that's his lemur. What's his name? Maximus. He's Maximus? Yes. I thought the cockle shafak was Maximus. Are there two Maximuses? There's Maximus 1, Maximus 2. Oh, okay. Good to know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is our bedtime, and we thought that for Earth Day, it would be really fun to do a little story and share a book that I used to read Logan when he was a little bit younger, but we haven't read it in a while, mm -hmm. but it's still yeah. a really good book. And it's called In the Blink of an Eye by Dieter Wiesmüller. I think he's German. Mm, me too. All right. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Um, you can do the honors. Oh, okay. My pleasure. All right. The world is full of surprises. There is something new to discover wherever you live. You are never alone, not even for a minute. In the city or in the country, in the forest or by the lake, on the savanna or in the jungle, during the day or at night, just look around you. There's the mirror. Actually, it's a window. He sits at the edge of the forest with his long ears poking into the sky to catch the sounds from the field. Have you spotted him? He has seen you. The noisy tractor has frightened him. He hops away, scurrying from one side to the other side. With one last giant leap, he finds safety in his warren. All right, so they're an eye. What kind of animal do you think that that eye belongs to? Got it? What do you think, Logan? I am going to guess a type of bird, maybe an owl. Maybe an owl, except for it was talking about long ears poking into the sky to catch the sounds of the field. Yeah. Hopping away into safety. Okay, that's not an owl. That is not an owl. Is the bird? <laughs> well, it's got long ears. Bunny? A bunny rabbit. Okay. Finally. Yeah, it's a bunny Yay. rabbit. Ding, 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 ding. It's been a long day, guys. He had Russian. <laughs> What's rabbit in Russian? Um, conejo. Conejo? No, that's in Spanish. <laughs> Silly. What's fish again in Russian? Ruboy. Ruboy. The ribeye. A ribeye. Okay. We're getting distracted. Sorry about that. All right. It gonna... always happens. She perches in her hollow and dreams of the night to come. She hears you pass beneath her tree and awakens from her day of sleep. At the dusk begins to fall, she soars up into the air. Far above your head, she silently glides through the forest in search of prey. Hmm, that sounds like it might be a bird. Mm, I guess it is. What does that look like? I think I know what it is. What do you think it is? An owl. An owl? Finally, first guess. It's an owl. Good job. Oh, this is so spicy. Smart. Smart. I know. Okay, I know what this is. Okay. He has endless patience and he squats on a lily pad, waiting for a meal. To you, the hours on the lake crawl by so slowly as we wait for the fish to bite. Ribbit! The little green creature suddenly flicks his tongue to catch a tasty fly. He's caught his meal before you have. What do you think that is? I am going to get. Wait, wait, wait. Let him guess. It's an easy one, I think. What kind of animal do you think that is that says ribbit? If you guessed a frog, you're right. A frog! Do you know what frog is in French? Grenouille. 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 Okay. Go ahead. The days are getting the days are getting shorter. There is a cool breeze in the air. She knows it's time to fly. 
south to her warm winter home. Her flock takes wing following the sun. Soon she is a tiny dot on the horizon. You can still hear her honking in the distance. Honk, honk. What do you think that is? I think it's a goose too. Goose? Goose. Let's peek. It's a goose. Yay. <laughs> okay, this is. All right, this might be a little trickier. She is drawn to warmth and wetness of this clearing. Her emerald green scales gleam and glitter as she rests in the moss. The sound of snapping twigs beneath your feet wakes her from her nap. She quickly vanishes from sight. We have lots of these scurrying around the outside. Oh, oh yeah. And lots and lots of those in Florida. They're like ting, 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 ting. Sometimes they get in the house. Yeah, it, it's... <laughs> we try to catch them. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy doesn't like them that much. No, 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 doesn't like them. What kind of animal do you think that is? I guess an iguana. An iguana? It's not a frog. It's not a frog. Toad? I think it might be a lizard. Lizard, that's basically an iguana. Yes, that's true. A lizard and iguana are very similar. Like a, an iguana is a lizard, but they're big usually. We don't have those big ones here. No. They're usually in Cancun and stuff. Mexico. Maybe down south, Mexico. Yeah, we've got the little tiny ones. Some of them get a little big, and then they've got this really cool thing, like a flare on the bottom of their chin, and it's red, and they puff it out, and that's how they draw girlfriends, because only the boys have that. I love just embarrassing you. <laughs> the dogs bark wildly as they follow his scent. They lead the hunting party that is out to get him. Lured by his gorgeous red pelt and bushy tail, they give chase across meadow, ditches, and fields. Swift and clever, he is able to outrun and outwit them. Okay, I have an idea. It's orange, do, 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 do. guys. It's orange. Orange. Could it be silver or gray? Yes, it could. It, it could, could, but it could be. with this, it's orange. So orange, let's see. And the hunters usually sound a trumpet. They go doo 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 for the hunting parties. But the hounds, hunting what do you think that is? is? Fox. It's a fox. Yes, it's a fox. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Getting there. We're getting there, guys. We get it's distracted. Almost, I know. <laughs> Go ahead. Although she is reading, although she is very small, she feels quite at home in this soaring cathedral. Sitting in her corner, she hungrily nibbles a crumb. Nibbles a crumb. So small, I'm guessing. You don't even hear her quiet rustling as okay. you walk down the aisle. Startled when you come too near, she anxiously scurries away. I have a guess, so it's small. It lives in build buildings or buildings, mm -hmm. and you can barely hear it, and yeah. And so. back in the olden days, when they were in the walls, you had to metal them up. <laughs> what do you think that is? I am guessing it's a mouse. It is a mouse. It's a little church mouse. Quiet as a church mouse. Have you ever heard that sayings before? Shh. But that's a big cathedral, so it's a big church. Okay, next one. Okay. From his rooftop nest, he sees you coming and going, but do you notice when he leaves for the winter? You may think he's off delivering babies, but he's only migrated south. He'll be back next spring since he returns to the same nest every year okay so we know he is white and that people it's like a folk tale maybe that he delivers babies so i'm gonna guess it is a type of bird it is a type of bird that is a stork a stork 
Yes, it is a stork. Yep. That's right. This is going to be a tricky one. Oi. What is this? His powerful roar echoes across the savannah as he rests majestically in the shade of his favorite tree. He will put up with being photographed, but you better keep your distance. This kingly cat doesn't welcome visitors to his lair. Okay, this isn't the one that's as tricky. Savannah. Savannah, Africa. Africa. It is lair. Roar. Kingly. Roar. Oh. I just can't wait to be king. What do you think it is? Lion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the tricky one too. They're gonna get a little harder. Okay. What is this enormous boar doing outside your village again? He cannot fly, so maybe you can chase him down. Oh, I know this. <laughs> I don't know if you would want to chase this guy down. <laughs> With his large power for let I'm reading this one, oh, okay? Okay. He will be difficult to outrun. With with long springy strides, he wheels around and struts to the back of his clutch of eggs. So you know, so we have Animal Kingdom here, which is this, and you get to paint these eggs. These eggs are very big. They are and big. And it does not fly, and it's big animal. So I'm going to think it's an ostrich. Yeah. Do you remember how many chicken eggs go into an ostrich egg? Like 30? 33. Yeah, so it's really close. But they're huge. They're big, big, they're big. They're really big. And we did one you, when you were probably four. Yeah, they feel very interesting. They do. They've got a really interesting almost kind of uh, texture to them. Okay, now you have to pay attention to this one. Really pay attention to it. Mm, you think you know. I probably don't. Pay attention to what you're reading. As you travel through the rainforest, the green curtain of plants and vines hide behind the amber eyes that watch your every move. His spotted fur is an excellent camouflage when he prowls through the jungle. Now, resting on a tree branch after eating his fill, he lazily flexes his muscles. Okay. Now. I'm guessing it is because it's the spots. It is a leopard. Wow. A leopard, huh? I might have to sneak a peek at that one. I think you're right because it's spots. And tigers have stripes. Yep, it's a leopard. That's right. Now, tigers they love to swim they're one of the only big cats that love to swim and they also can climb trees however they don't often climb trees but they can it's just not their preference to do so but leopards yep they climb trees for sure all right this is an easy one this is really <laughs> easy peasy you walk through the world master of all you see but you don't but you don't be blind to the bounty around you. Wherever you go, remember, you are not alone. Learn to see the creatures that share your world. And what in the world? What? Whose eye is that? It is a human. It's a human, a person. That's right. And if we open our eyes, we can see all of the beauty that's around us. And that's our little cheat sheet. That's all the different animals that we read right there. So again, happy, happy Earth Day. Have a great Earth Day, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you see our next video. Oh, it's gonna be a doozy. We have to pre-plan it. Mm -hmm. Sleep tight. Good night and many blessings to you and your family. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Good night.